What is going on guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. I'm going to preface this with normally these videos take me maybe altogether 25 minutes or so and I really work hard to get them at that pace. This video is going to go way over but I wanted to cover it for you guys and let me just offer that covering this I believe kind of opens me up to understanding a little bit more about what Chantal does because it's very strange for a YouTuber to put up a video which is a static way to make content, right? That video is going to stay there forever, apparently, and then go live because essentially what you're doing is, number one, you're altering the notifications that your viewers are going to get, and number two, you're making the viewer pick which they want to watch. Do they want to watch a live? Do they want to watch the video? Do they want to watch both? And I think she does this in a way not to overwhelm the user, but more to try to get most of her views before the reaction channels can kind of get a hold of the content, if you will. I also don't reuse her content, so it becomes a little bit more difficult for me to do screen captures, lay audio, and then edit things together in a way that makes sense. But I do really try, although week's been kind of difficult, to do it as quickly as I can. But I just, going through the screen captures, I knew this one was going to be a while. So she starts off by saying she needed to get away from the music, and this is for copyright reasons. She complains about how busy it is, and she makes a lot of her awkward oh and hellos. She's really having a hard time holding the camera at a decent angle, but she does say she wants to, quote, eat her heart out. Now, Sala is not there because he has a headache and maybe asleep. She then mutes the phone. I don't know if this was to cover music or her breathing, but you can see that her hijab is just pilled and sweat-soaked. She had already talked about how stained her teeth were and how she was demanding a snack. While muted, she gets a mango and coconut rice. Now, she says this isn't the same without Salah as she looks for a place to eat, and she approaches a table with three chairs, but elects to use a bench that is across from it instead. Now, keep in mind, she's constantly talked about her ability to sit in one seat, all of these things that kind of promote the fact that she isn't as large as people have made her out to be, and that she has traditional ways of mobility and going out. She just chooses to go to places when they're empty. Now, the reality is, she also says that she can't be on her phone long because she needs it to order. Now, I will offer to you, this never took place in the vlog, so I'm not sure where that came from, but it's one of a variety of different mistruths that actually get brought up in this video. I will, though, say she may have felt it was needed to order from the menu at the restaurant, but there the lady and her simply pointed at what she wanted and came to an agreement of what would be ordered. So it's odd that she talks about her battery, which we're going to go into, and what she needed her phone for, which we'll go into. But she does say she regrets Sala not being there, but she states she will bring him something back. She professes that this is her, quote, glory, and suggests that Sala again had a bad headache, and she just really wanted to leave. And I just want to say this kind of seems pathetic to me, because... Set the relationship, whatever you think it may be, aside. It, it's obvious to anyone that he has stayed in due to her issues, whether it was her mobility, whether it was her health. But now that he has an issue, the first thing she wants to do is run out and eat in the street. So Salah is not in the chat at first, but she offers that they, quote, go at their own paces. And she says this while devouring a container of something that she cited they, quote, had to try before they left. And when you talk about their paces, I'm, I'm not sure what that means, because her pace has been dramatically slowed. She said that she doesn't care about people staring at her. Keep this in mind for later. And she's very aggressive and food guarding during this. She admits that she almost feels bad for not being at the hotel, but cites she, quote, nursed Sala before she left. And this video could have been much more better served on the couple's channel and kept with the theme of, you know, Sala going out and doing his walks, now her going out and doing a walk, but her frantic eating would give anyone anxiety, and it just shows that she makes herself into a spectacle, if for no other reason than to kind of race through a meal. The mango requires her hands, and just, my goodness, the deformity she's caused her hands the fact that she's eating this the way a catfish would she uses an old hand sanitizer that she jokes about because she forgot napkins because of her size she struggles to put a backpack on properly she then talks about having to go down from the curb on her own and her shadow is very much like 
there's really no other way to say this. The poo emoji or grimace. She admits that she can't go into a restaurant that uses stools. Keep that in mind for later because she needs either a chair or booth, clearly. She then looks at some cat ice cream, but it's clear without Sala. She's just overwhelmed by all the food in this market. People in the background, keep this in mind for later, are also very much noticing her, and this video does appear to have quite a few edits put in. Now, she stops at a place that has a booth, she pays it no mind, and she says that she can't go and get all the foods that she wants, and then complains about some of the places having small seating, she does not have her ring on, and she reiterates a lie about losing her ring in the airport that she admitted was not accurate when she got home. So it's almost like she can't keep track of the things that she said. Now, she pulls out her fan once she sits down, and there is a gentleman in the back who is just transfixed on her. Now, she was offered to put seats together, but she refuses to do so because she's kind of afraid of how her balance is going to be handled. A dog comes up as she gets this pineapple drink, which is just obnoxious on its own. What a child would get, I would assume. She then admits she's dirty, she's soaking wet, and the dog owners are looking at her, so she doesn't wish to show the dog. She has the fidgets, the eye darts. She just looks awkward and out of place. After saying she wouldn't, she then shows the dog, and people in the live are kind of projecting to her about everyone just looking at her and she's saying i'm just eating she talks about how they're only temporarily staying there but won't live there which is a very odd thing to say she says she can leave whenever they want and it just screams posturing you know people bring up that she loves the ocean she loved it in cuba now she claims she hates it she talked about a sea monster fear that kept her going close to the ocean and none of those things align with where she is now she reiterated that this is, quote, heaven on earth for her. She has a large plate of greens. Sala then enters the chat because whenever I have a headache, I know, especially if it's going to be one that prevents me from going outside or doing what I want to do, the first thing I run to is anything with a screen, a TV, a phone, a computer, because my how those things can soothe a headache. She just makes it uncomfortable, though. The, the speed at which she just jams food into her face. I don't want to call it eating because it's anything but that. She orders a full appetizer and entree for herself. And this is obviously after eating a snack before having this meal. Now, I'm going to show her eating this shrimp. And I just want to put an emphasis on the speed, the eye darting, the awkwardness. Because this is clearly someone who is uncomfortable. She can say anything she wants, and she does. But this is her fully aware of the fact that she has made herself into a spectacle. This has nothing to do with pride, nothing to do with being embarrassed. She is embarrassed based on how she's almost hiding herself eating. And the people around her are the ones that make her feel that way, not her. It's, it's 100% normal to feel awkward when you think people are staring at you. It's completely normal to feel uneasy when you feel like someone's got their eyes on you. And it's clear she feels this way. Now, I would offer that not as a judgment, but being sympathetic. But Chantal doesn't really deserve anyone's sympathy based on her past actions. So while I would love to kind of work this into, you know, bottling up her feelings and, and using this feeling she has in this video to neutralize truly the craving she has for food, you know, the reality is this is her going out and trying to enjoy by her own admission, what she loves, what makes her the most happy. At one point, she says she's, you know, in her zone and doesn't notice what's going on around her. But she can't do that because it's overwhelmingly apparent that people are just in all of her. She tries to mask this by saying she just has anxiety. But to that point, I will call out to you the 2749 point of this video. There is a massive cut. And what is extremely poetic justice, that she was actually being filmed by a worker while sitting and eating. Marley Hendricks actually has it on her channel, did a great job of catching it before Chantel removed it. And that, to me, proves the point. You are bothered by this. If you're not, then why would you edit it out? You know, you could easily make the case that it's far more embarrassing for the worker to be shown filming Chantal than it is Chantal to be the one filmed. But as I said, with nearly anyone else, you might feel bad, but... This is just another indictment against her. I mean, first, it bothers her. We all know it. But she was filmed in public for eating. 
without her consent. This is why we constantly tell her, do not film people that do not want to be on camera because this is how they feel. Only they don't have the ability to go in and edit themselves out of your video. So unedited, this loses all context. As Chantel was going on this little bit of a rant of, you know, how she's unbothered by all this. And she says, oh, maybe somebody knows who I am. And it's okay, she can film me if she wants, but this has already been edited out, so we really don't even know what she's talking about watching the edited version. She excuses it as, you know, her eating, and she then starts to bring up her battery, right? Her battery is declining the whole time. She says this worker had no bad intentions. Well, you know what, Chantal? Neither did the woman and her child that you bought the lay from, but you projected she was shaming you. Chantal needs to be aware that she is sitting there, by her own admission, dirty, covered in food, eye darting, food hanging out of her mouth, and set aside the reasons, eating as quickly as possible. And regardless of somebody's size, this is going to be an attraction. So there's really no need to sit here and make all these assumptions, more so when she says, quote, they really don't see fat people, that's her words, not mine, note that I've used the closed captioning, and then later says, quote, I'm the biggest person on the market, and I don't mind. You know, Chantal, that is not some type of power flex. You know, let's also understand, at 29.42, we're still talking about the battery being the reason we're eating so quickly, and there's 20 plus minutes left of this video. And we're taking these massive bites, we have food running all down our face, we're having our whole claw in our mouth, and you're honestly sitting there and saying, I'm so gross, sorry guys, after saying she can't turn the camera around, and offering, why am I so extra? Later telling Sala she needs to, quote, come home, I'm dirty, like a little kid. So the battery we're so concerned about, okay, is at 63%. Now, based on her own admission, it lost less than 10% during all this eating. So what truly was this massive rush? She then does more projection about Sala, but it's really just her acting this way that make people question the relationship because she's very much proof she's embarrassed to be with herself. This video points directly to that. And she can't seem to understand why others would say that he is embarrassed to be with her. So after leaving the restaurant, she goes to get a banana cake. Now, she barges into this tent as if she's the only person around. She orders without being asked and then realizes that the worker is actually helping someone else. She then turns the camera around and shows the person that's being helped. This is the exact type of interaction that people truly dislike her for because it's so uncalled for. She talks about missing Sala while offering it's okay for her to be out alone and referring to couples go out alone all the time. She brings up reaction channels and is very just odd while doing so. She, she talks as if they've been together, you know, for 50 years. And, and she does this by saying, we've been together the whole time. But the reality is, she would go out by herself constantly in the past. Starbucks, Orange Julep, countless restaurants. She went to Cuba alone, right? Yet today, it's, it's this big deal for her to go out without Salah. You know, when you mix this in with her lying about the ring, lying about her feeling about beaches versus Cuba... Going through and assuming that the other woman was filming her because they knew who she was. Projecting that, you know, they can't talk about a return date. Like, we all know this trip isn't visa-based. All of those equate to her reality. She has made herself into a novelty act. She first did it online, and now she's doing it in person. And a lot of people are there to admire the train wreck. And it's not lost on me that many reaction channels exist just to capture a, a glimpse of that wreck. She then goes and gets her dessert without any covering, walks it through the street in the open air, and then offers, people are looking at me like I'm weird. No, Chantal, people are looking at you like you're carrying around a dessert, uncovered, dripping sweat, dirty, messy, and by your own admission, after eating a dessert that you got before you arrived, then a full meal, she realizes that she is becoming the spectacle, thinks about how to pack this up, and while doing so, brushes her fingers into the Nutella and sucks them clean in the middle of the street. Then just eats it. Despite kind of leaving us to think this was for Salah because that was one of his favorite things when they went to the market. She then admits she has banana all over her. People are in fact staring at her because she is, quote, filthy. She states that she needs to, quote, get it off her and just, quote, do her thing. 
And at this point, it's so apparent she's vlogging that someone is waving. Her audience begs her to stay live. Because they're trolling her. They want to see these interactions. But she goes back and blames the battery. And to be clear about this, in the restaurant, we were talking about the battery. And yet here we are at 63%. Even if the battery was losing 5% per minute, she would still be just fine. But now she's using it as an insistence that she must go. She must get cleaned up. She must drop everything else and worry about getting herself clean. She admits that she just got these clothes cleaned. And they are now a complete mess because of one meal. She then abruptly leaves, despite the audience begging her not to. So to end this kind of like as a side note, I went to the Ravens game over the weekend. It was raining, right? And it always amazes me that, you know, when you go out in an open-air environment like that, when it's raining, People will order food, and then they will go and they will sit in the rain and eat that food. To that point, there was a person beside me eating nachos in the rain. There was a person in front of me eating a cheesesteak, which I can only imagine cost $25 at a stadium in the rain. And I can't tell you the size of these people. I can only tell you that I was taken back by, wow, like, you ordered this knowing it's raining. You walked it through a concourse packed with people because most people want it out of the rain. And now you're sitting here while your food gets wet, eating it. To me, that's weird, right? That That's something that I would never do. Like, I'm very protective about walking food around people that I'm not aware of. I don't want people brushing into something that I'm going to later eat. It just seems unclean. So it has nothing to do with her size. It has completely to do with what she's actually doing. And the fact that that person filmed her eating in this fashion, I think is a lot more indicative to how she acts than her size. She, no pun intended, likes to hide behind her size. And this is the end result of that. Now, as promised, I did want to get to some comments. And these were the top ones at the time I pulled them. Silly Teapot 4205 says, Buckle up, folks. It feels like she is spiraling. Everything is starting to fall apart for her. I'm here for it. And Catholic Faith of Mine 2664 says, No matter what guy she is with, food will always be her love. Well, I would offer that both of those comments are extremely accurate. And yes, I believe this was one of the most real vlogs from her we've seen in a long time. And I don't think she could do this daily based on her current size. But if she did, this would be kind of the beginning of the end. I can also say, I don't know that I've ever seen in the years of watching her a time where she had to edit out an interaction someone had non-directly with her based on how she was acting. That is what took place today. Love to know your thoughts on this. Appreciate you watching this video. You know. Just like somebody filming her in Taiwan or wherever she goes next, I will be back soon as I can with more content.